welcome here. My name is Sydney, if this is the first time seeing me. I love to do all kinds of decorating videos, DIYs, and home improvement videos here on my channel. So if that kind of content interests you, I would love for you to stick around and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any videos from me. Now today's video is going to be an update on our master bathroom. So three years ago, we started the process of converting our garage to a master bedroom and we blocked off the area of where our bathroom and closet were gonna be. But we're just now getting to, like actually getting to the bathroom because we didn't wanna put it all on a credit card. We wanted to pay cash. Also, my husband's doing a lot of the work. He's very handy, so that's very nice. I'm gonna go around and show you guys what all we're thinking for this bathroom. We should actually be finishing up the bathroom within a couple weeks to a month. So definitely stay tuned for a big reveal of when it's all done. But I wanted to take you guys along and show you what I'm thinking and what I'm envisioning for this bathroom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay guys, so this is our master bathroom. We have these double doors that lead into the master bathroom. I'm planning on painting the inside of these. So I am going to include some clips of how this looked before we really got started on it. My husband had to lift the flooring so that it was even with our bedroom and then also adding in all the shiplap and the walls and getting everything mudded like the ceiling. Just everything is coming along. My husband did all the electric plumbing, all that on his own, so it has taken a minute. But now that we got the annoying little things done, we get to do the exciting fun parts, all the aesthetic things. So I'm really excited to get started. All right, so I'm gonna apologize for all the yellowy lighting. I'm gonna change these bulbs out to daylight bulbs. But as you walk in, it kind of looks like a sauna room, honestly. My husband just hung up all of this shiplap and all of this is going to be white. So it's gonna require a ton of paint, but we're down for the task because it's gonna be a beautiful white bathroom. Now over here is going to be our master closet, which I'll show you in a minute. So you can see over here, we left this open with no shiplap because we're gonna have concrete board and everything you need for an actual shower. So this is gonna be our shower. We're gonna have tile. We're using subway tile for these two areas. Here on the floor of the shower is the little shower head. So how cute is this? I thought this was really, really pretty. So I think that's gonna look really nice. We're gonna have white subway tile with black grout. So that will tie in really well with that. But right as you walk in to the bathroom on the left is going to be our bathtub. I will show you how it looks. It's really nice. We have a really pretty black faucet for the tub as well. And I just love the shape of the tub. It's really deep. And I think it's gonna look so nice over here in this corner. My husband's probably gonna build us a really pretty like piece of wood to go across, like a little tray, a bathtub tray to hold like a candle and a book and just sponges or whatever. But I think that will add a lot to the space decor wise as well. So the bathtub is gonna go right here. I'm thinking of hanging some farmhouse style hooks on this wall and hanging a few towels on that. Okay, so over on this main wall is going to be our vanity. So we found an old antique buffet style furniture piece that we're gonna use as the actual vanity. And what I like about that is that it's brown, so it's gonna help break up all the black and white. I don't want it to just be black and white. So I love that we have this like pretty brown color on our vanity and we're gonna have a white slate top with white sink. Over here we have one of the light fixtures. So we have two of these, but it's that farmhouse style. It's really large. So I think that's gonna look really good and it's gonna tie in really well with our faucet in the shower. Okay, and I wanted to show you guys these mirrors. So I picked up these two mirrors from Amazon and they actually came in black and a gunmetal color. Sorry, you're gonna see my cats just roaming around, but I actually ordered the gunmetal color, but I painted them black. It was $100 cheaper for me to just paint them black myself instead of, <laughs> sorry, my cat, instead of just buying the black. So I thought, honestly, I'll just paint them black myself and save the money. But I love these mirrors. They're like the pharmacy style mirrors. And then I'm gonna put these bottles, these amber glass bottles on here. I got this from House and Home. And House and Home, Sky with House and Home, she's actually the one that inspired me to get this mirror. So she has 
one of these style mirrors in her downstairs bathroom, but hers is a square one. The only difference is these ones are like oval on top, but I thought just putting like a pretty towel, a plant over here, I have like a all purpose cleaner bottle. I don't know what I'll do. I wanna keep it simple, but I think that will help break up all the white and black as well and just look really nice up on the wall. So my husband has these two light fixtures up there where we're gonna hang the farmhouse style ones and the mirrors will go right underneath and then the vanity. So I think that will look really pretty. The second you walk in, you will see those mirrors and the vanity, it'll look so nice. Now over on this wall, this is a pretty decent sized wall. I thought this would be perfect for my linen hutch that I have. So we found an old hutch at a restore and it was only $100 for it. So we snagged it and I decided to paint it white and I'm gonna use black hardware on it. I finished painting it all white. We just need to finish putting the hardware on it and some of the glass, but I thought it would be beautiful to place all of our white towels and our rags. And I also want to display pretty bottles with like sponges, soaps, bath bombs, just make it look really pretty and like spa-like. So that's what I'm aiming for for this wall. Now there is the closet, like I said earlier, and then our toilet is going to be going right here. I may be putting some shelves above the toilet, I'm not sure yet. My husband put the lights here, so this goes to the fan he just inserted, and then this goes to the closet light. So we're going to put a bunch of shelving in here. We just got it all mudded. So it needs painted. We're not doing shiplap in here. We're just gonna probably do like a white wall. And then we're gonna do like the same laminate wood flooring that we have throughout our house. So this will be a nice size closet and it extends over to here. But it's really high. So we're gonna utilize that by adding in lots of shelving. So I'm very excited to have this space and have it off of the bathroom. So I don't think I mentioned, but we are going to do like a marble styled flooring. It's gonna be mostly white with some gray veining. It's gonna be very bright in here. So the next time you see it, it's gonna be very different. But I'm going to break all the white and black up with greenery, pretty rugs, and just decor in here. All right, so that is everything for our bathroom updates. I'm so excited to show you guys the big reveal. So definitely stay tuned in about a month or so is when I'll be showing you that. I'm so excited to have my dream master bathroom. It's gonna add so much to our home and I'm just so excited for it. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful and blessed day. Lost again, going back around. Dreaming of a time when